an Iron Age hill fort. Nice and tender. We are going for a meet up. And we've forgotten to get the milk. It is that time of the year again. We are having a fantastic evening. Welcome to our channel. In March of 2022, Sue and I set off to realise a dream. We are living full time in our motorhome and travelling the UK with our two Labradors. Sue loves to run every day with Fudge, whilst the old boy Archie still enjoys a gentle stroll. We love the freedom of our lifestyle and finding new places to explore. So we're at the uh, Salisbury Camping and Caravan Club site and we found this walk which is literally directly off the side. So it, it borders Salisbury Rugby Club but then just beyond that there's what looks to me like it's some kind of ancient hill fort. I might be wrong but we're going to go and have a look. According to English Heritage, the once thriving town of Old Serum stood on around the castle uh, and it was an Iron Age hill fort. So there's over 2,000 years of history. The Romans, Normans and Saxons have all left their mark on this particular landscape. I'm going to go and have a look at that tomorrow. And on the menu this evening, too. Well, it's um, Mexican chicken, which is going to be done in a slow cooker. So um, the chicken should be nice and tender. Time for Archie and I to put our feet up. Look at that. So, Mexican chicken was an absolute banger of a meal. I have completely finished mine. Sue's still eating. She says I shovel my food down. But it was absolutely delicious. Good morning. So I've made it up to uh, the Ulcerum Castle um, and I'm definitely not disappointed. We can't go in, it opens at 10 o'clock so you can actually get into the central bit of the castle. Uh, but you can walk all the way around it, there's lots of information boards uh, which are really really fascinating and interesting. You can see where the old ramparts were, so the, the centre of the castle obviously is the most fortified part uh, and then people, people would have settled around it. And according to the boards around here there would have been people settled around the hill at least, uh, they reckon up to about 5,000 years ago. They believe around 300-400 BC it was, it was used effectively as a kind of fortified settlement. Then the Romans came, uh, and they recognised the strategic importance of this, so uh, they would have done stamped their mark on this particular location. And then in 1066, William the Conqueror invaded, and the Normans uh, came to this place. And, and it, once again, William the Conqueror built, a, I think he was responsible for building the kind of castle of the bits of it that we can see today. He was also responsible for building the cathedral, and apparently around three years, really unlucky, literally three years from when it was constructed, there was disaster struck because it was hit by lightning. It moved on time a bit and they moved the cathedral. I'm not sure whether they physically moved it. Sounds like they did. Whether they did or not, I don't know. But they moved the cathedral to its current location in Salisbury. I can see, I can actually see the spire of the Salisbury Cathedral from here so but it, you can see it everywhere and we are planning to go into Salisbury later today. The, the footprint of the old cathedral which is just over here is really pronounced. All they have to pay to go into the castle you can walk all the way around the outside and certainly the ramparts are really visible all the way around. It is also what do they call it a scheduled mon monument uh, so there's lots of signs up say you can't get your old metal detector out um, 
Oh, quite right, of preserving this as a scheduled monument for people like me to continue to come along and enjoy for many more years to come, hopefully. ahead of me and it looks like Archie's found the pub that he wants to go to so we're going to go and get some lunch. With me. And here we are just about to get the bus back to the campsite having spent a lovely time in Salisbury mooching around the shops and then a oh, gorgeous lunch. So can you believe it? We've just spent a good few hours in Salisbury and we've forgotten to get the milk. So Sue has popped into this court. We've had to get off the bus a couple of stops early, but I don't think it's too far. And Sue's gone in to get us some milk. So here we are back at the field. This is adjacent to uh, the site. So it's really easy to get a bus from here into Salisbury, as you've just seen. And right behind me up there, is the fabulous Old Serum Castle, uh, which probably wasn't called that at the time because it had a different name, different name under the, the Romans. Uh, but as you can see, this is a really good location. And when you can walk out of the site directly onto all of these fields where dogs are welcome to roam off their leads. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. Not given stars before. That's a new one. Sue's found this sign. It's called Hudson's Field. It's owned by the local authority, so it isn't actually part of the rugby club. Um, but nevertheless, it does the job for us. Well, hello everyone. We have just left the Salisbury Camping and Caravan Club site. We're off now, uh, moving on. Uh, we are going for a meetup. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, when we get there, we show you it, um, where we are and, and what we find. And uh, I think somebody's gonna bring a fire pit, so it could be right toasty and, and I don't know, just be a little bit more adventurous than we normally are. <laughs>
Good afternoon. So as you can see, it is that time of the year again where my very light as a feather wife leaps up onto the roof. I mean, literally leaps up onto the roof and starts to clean it. Uh, it we've obviously gone through a whole year and, a, and almost a whole winter. We're just into February now. Uh, so she says it doesn't look too bad up there, which is quite surprising, but we do wash it uh, once a year. I, I think when I f we first left home, I said we'd wash it at least once a year, but of course now we don't have a driveway that we park on regularly to do the washing. It's clearly a lot less frequent. But we're the only people currently at this site, so we're not kind of depriving anybody else of any water. Although we've got the hose, we will only use it to just rinse off the roof at the end. When I, Normally when I wash the van, and I will wash the van this weekend as well, we just use a bucket of water. Um, not like the olden days where we used to get the hose pipe out at home. I might get the drone up and fly it round you, sweetheart. How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, as long as the dogs are inside, it won't, fr it won't frighten them. <laughs> As you can see, Sue is the professional roof cleaner and I'm the lackey who gets the job of handing up the hose, turning the water on, turning the water off, but she does a good job. a fantastic evening we're just about really? to start and it's still early. cooking wow. uh, we're gonna have a barbecue in February the beginning of February and with all these fabulous people who are Hello. loving van life look, look, they're the, look they're waving in the background <laughs> Morning everybody, we're just getting breakfast ready after the night before, which we thoroughly enjoyed. The gang are all back together after the night before. How are you feeling everyone? Yeah. Thumbs good. up. Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so just in case you're wondering where this site is, uh, it's a little Caravan and Motorhome Club CL site called Bluebell Wood. Uh, it's it's we are paying twelve pounds a night. There's there's nothing other than water and waste, which of course um, is is absolutely fantastic for us. And it is a good place to come if there's a group of you like like we are, because it's pretty easy going. Um, we had a fire pit last night, as you've seen. Uh, there are other people on the site as well as us, but uh, like most of the community, they're really friendly. Um, and we've had an absolutely fantastic time while we're here. So definitely. Definitely a place worth coming. These woods that are surrounding us are owned by the same people who own the site, so there's no right of way through the woods, but if you're staying here, then you've got use of the woods for dog walks while you're here. And if you follow the path in that direction, and I'll try and show you on some of the drone footage, but if you follow the path in that direction, it brings you straight out onto public footpaths and also some National Trust property. So there's plenty of really good walking to do around here as well. I'm so Don't go to the unknown, but I'm too curious for that. Might be a little crazy, I don't mind. I like the way it feels. No need to set off the alarm. No. So I won't stick with it. Running in a wheel, no 
So I'll be taken out for I'm dead and gone. Oh, I'm so high, so high. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seen some of the places that we've enjoyed. If you've liked it, please give us the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe and don't forget to click the little bell so you get the notifications every time we post a new video. Other than that, oh, comments. We really love uh, when we get your comments. It's nice to be able to respond to those. So if you've got any suggestions in particular of places that we should visit over the next year, let us know in the comments below nothing else for me to say other than thank you so much for watching and see you next time